everybody. Welcome to SoCal Dram Tram and tell your ma'am Happy New Year. This is your boy C. And I'm Matt. And today on the SoCal Dram Tram, before we get into this review, we just want to say if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're a return viewer, we appreciate you sticking around. Everybody hit that bell for notifications. That way you know whenever we drop brand new whiskey content. Tell you what. Caesar, what do we got on the bar today in this brand new year of 2021? Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, right here, I got the, something from my bar, folks. It is the Old Ezra 7-year-old cask strength. How can something be old and 7 years old? Hit it. So guys, we got the old Ezra, or young Ezra, I guess, seven-year-old. <laughs> this... Yeah, that, 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 Bob. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this, I was about to say this song. <laughs> <laughs> this video is going off without a hitch, clearly. <laughs> this bottle is bottled at 58% alcohol. Ooh! So I guess it is. Uh, I think you want to smack your mama. <laughs> uh, this, of course, is some Kentucky bourbon. Asian brand new charred white oak barrels. So it's bourbon. It's bourbon. <laughs> so, um, it actually won double gold in 2019 San Francisco World, World Spirits Comp. And it actually, this is more interesting, it won the Luxury Taste Master Award from the Global Spirit Masters Competition. That, that's pretty much their highest ranking for bourbon. Luxury Spirit Award, you said? Yeah, uh, the Lu Luxury Taste Master. And it's an award from the, from the Global Spirit Masters Competition. Okay. Glo Global Spirit Masters. So, I mean, th th that, that has some uh, credibility to it for sure. Um, I, I had a little bit of the neck pour just to get the neck pour done with, and it, it was pretty pretty hot. It was a pretty hot neck pour. 58%. It's, it's a cast strength, yeah. <laughs> but what do you expect going into this? So, I cheated because I already nosed it. <laughs> what do I expect? Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, so, there's a ton of bourbon out there in the whiskey world, as you know of. So, I've gotten into this habit whenever I go buy a bottle is looking at who distilled it, right? Actually turning the bottle around and saying, okay, where was it distilled? Oh, it's distilled in Indiana. It's another MGP, right? This is not that. This is distilled in Kentucky. Um, and I don't know much about Old Ezra, so I'm excited about it. I remember when you told me about it, I was kind of like, oh, interesting. I think I've heard about it, but I've never actually was like, oh, let's, let's pull the trigger on this. Uh, whenever you get a cast strength version of something, I think you're getting quite possibly uh, the better version, so to speak, right? So like Stag Junior, right? Which is up here, you can check it out. Um, that's like the barrel proof version of a Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Um, and you get a lot more out of it than just the simple, you know, Buffalo Trace product. So. I'm really excited to see what this guy gives. Granted, we don't have a reference point on, you know, old Ezra, if they have a 40 or 43 or 46%, whatever the case may be. But we have a reference point on bourbon from all of the bourbons we've reviewed. <laughs> so I'm excited to get into it. I love getting into barrel proof stuff because I'm expecting a little bit of a Kentucky hug, especially at 58%. Yep. Um, before I get into my nosing notes, I want to go ahead and shout out my coin today. I'm actually busting out the Trenny and C. Their batch three coin, that's right, their Survivor Edition. I think that's focusing, yeah. Uh, this is their 2020 coin, again, Survivor Edition. We made it through! Barely. <laughs> for my closer coin, I'm using my Akvita. And for, I'm gonna stop there. And then, <laughs> and then for, for my uh, topper coin, I'm using my 
favorite bourbon corn, and you guys know why? Because it's my favorite bourbon corn. It's my favorite thing, because it's my favorite thing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Just like hot Cheetos. Brown sugar. Just right. brown sugar dude, right off dude, the bat. Dude, like, so Making me want to sing like Mick Jagger. Brown sugar. <laughs> to me, as far as your nose goes, it definitely, like, you, you nailed it. Like, what I think it personally is, it smells like a spicy brown sugar. It's baking spices. Baking spices and brown sugar. This yep. is Christmas baking in a glass when I nose it, for yep. sure. I get some cinnamon. I'm a little Anyone. worried just because it is 58% in the cinnamon. I'm wondering if it's going to drink like a red hot, but we're going to see. Um, that brown sugar sweetness though does have a nice cut through, yep. uh, you know, nosing note to it. Nosing note? Is that a thing? I don't yeah, know. I know now. I've said it, whether it or not it's now. a thing. A <laughs> uh, little bit of ethanol in there for sure. I mean, seven years, it is still technically young whiskey. Um, I guess maybe it's not technically young whiskey because bourbon seven years, that's pretty long. Um, but it, it's hot for sure. It's hot. I can see how a neck pour of this might be a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. Uh, I tasted it, so uh, since you haven't tried it, I'd rather get your inputs on the on the tasting notes because I, I have tried it, and I, to be honest, a little straight up, it's it's already different than than the neck pour for sure. So it opened up a little bit. What are you getting out of it? Hold, please. <laughs> Ooh, that'll make you want to smack your mama. Oh man, that's hot. Um, but not. Not so hot that it's not enjoyable. It's just the front palate is like burning. Like yeah. it's just it's it hits you. But once that kind of you know washes over and starts giving you some of the flavor it has to offer. Again, the brown sugar is super prominent. Uh, citrus, orange, orange citrus, orange zest is definitely in there. Um, shockingly enough, I'm getting less cinnamon and more nutmeg which is really nice. I nutmeg prefer nutmeg over that. cinnamon to my spice anyway. Um, dare I say... I don't know if it's just the power of suggestion in my head, and I just I got it in my head, and now it's there. Like a pineapple upside-down cake. Like, because I'm getting like a baking... Bacon? bacon <laughs> uh Good Lord. Baking um, spice quality to it with the nutmegs, the cinnamon, and the brown sugar. But the, that citrus note, I say orange, but I'm wondering if it's almost pineapple-y. Like, I'm getting like a pineapple upside-down cake out of it. It's really nice, but like I said, that first sip is like, we're here to party. Yeah. <laughs> like, 100%. So, how, how much did I align with what you get? Well, Probably zero. Hey, to be honest... <laughs> What it reminded me of was this, like when I drank it, it reminded me of drinking the Steg Junior, where I was like, really? "Bam, here we are!" And then here's the good flavor, though, and it's like, "Oh, okay, okay." okay. What I hear you saying is this needs to go into the next blend again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so as far as the flavor goes, I got some like it tastes like for me, it tastes like uh, woody cinnamon. Uh, some I guess some spiced wood, and it, it's it's. It finishes like a French vanilla to me, like a sweet hmm. French vanilla. Yeah, but I like it because you're right. It is a roller coaster. Like you get there and it's like, whoa, and then here we go with the flavors. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. French vanilla like ice cream or French vanilla like coffee? Probably more like coffee. I can get behind the coffee note. Yeah. Because I don't know if it's... It's sweet, but it's not so sweet where it's like I can only take a couple sips. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's... It's got a bitter quality to it. So I think like a uh, like black coffee with just French vanilla syrup in it, I think that's a, an on-point analogy. I can get behind that for sure. So I put six drops of water in it because 58%, so it should handle it with no problem. Have you tried this one with water before? No, no? no I have not. I have not. I don't know why I asked that. I know you don't try them with water at your house. But to be honest, uh, like I, I love... I love the complexity you get out of this, like the complexity you get out of this. It yeah, it's got a lot of bang for the buck in there in terms of flavor, it's for sure. It's way better than the neck pour, and to be honest, I'm realizing that, like, that the alcohol punchiness and the sweet flavor are, like, at first, it, it almost feels like the fight, the alcohol has it. Oh, it's just all alcohol. But the more you let time go, the, it's an even fight between alcohol and sweetness. So it's like, uh, 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 uh. so it's like, wow, it's it's really shifting in there pretty good. It, which, to be honest, in turn creates a good even layer. So if they fight equally as hard for each other for the flavors, like, oh no, it's uh, it's punchy. No, it's sweet. No, it's punchy. I think it did a good job because then you got a high alcoholic, good tasting uh, beverage, right? So in, in my book, that that actually, if, 
I like it a lot. It kind of it kind of leveled it up for me a little bit. So, the reason why I put the glass up there is because even with six drop of water, it's got some legs for sure. Um, I mean, and and thick, you know, meaty, like just staying with your legs. Six foot legs. You know, you got two arms to wrap around. Um, Pantyhose, everything. <laughs> Not just kidding. <laughs> and 20 years from now, when somebody looks back at this episode and says cancel culture, we know, we know. We were around when that was invented, okay? <laughs> uh, sometimes we just say stupid stuff because we're like 10 whiskeys in, so just leave us alone, okay? Uh, we don't really mean it. It's just, you know, that's what's coming in mind. Um, before I get us into more trouble. Uh with the water, the cinnamon does become more prominent, um, for sure. For me, anyway. Like, the brown sugar is still there. I lost the nutmeg almost completely. I get the cinnamon. I want to say I'm still getting the citrus notes. But I think I'm only getting it on the nose, not on the palate. I'll have to go in for a second sip. How much water did you put on it? I put five drops. But you're right. The nose is a little bit more cinnamony. It, it really is. It, it, that's all you really get out of it, which is... Not bad. It's a nice cinnamon. Like, it's not like a red hot or just big red gum. Like, yeah. it's more of like cinnamon, sugar, cinnamon toast crunch kind of type of cinnamon. But it's... The, it With the water, it loses something, in my opinion. Uh, to be honest, I, I think it loses... Which is shocking. It's 58%. You wouldn't think it would lose that much. It loses... In my in my palate, it loses flavor and it gains alcohol. It does percentage. gain the alcohol like, punch. Like, I, I taste a lot more alcohol with water and a lot less you know flavor what? and sweetness. Let's dig a little deeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see where it takes us. Because, yeah, so far I put five drops and I would rather have it neat. Uh, to be honest, it's sweeter neat. It's easier yeah, to handle it's, neat so far. The, the punch of the alcohol is right up front neat. Yeah. But then it does go away. Yep. Like you said, the roller coaster analogy is really yeah. nice. Um with the water that's not the case so i just put another six drops in again 58 percent. it's gonna handle the yeah. water you'd think um so i just want to see what it does great radio this is where i fast forward okay so with six more drops of water it's the citrus kind of comes back on the nose on the nose yeah the sweetness. The brown really. sugar's definitely back, which is nice because I, I missed that with the with the first round of water because I, that was the immediate note that I got out of it was the brown sugar. And when I dropped the water in, I was like, "Oh no, not the good thing." Um, <laughs> but now that I put twelve drops of water in it now, drops drops of water. <laughs> um, yeah, baby, drop the water. The brown sugar comes back, a little bit more of the citrus. It's almost like it's resetting or it wants to reset. I'm curious to see what it does on the palate. Yeah, so I had it on the palate, and I think it, 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 to be honest, all it really did from the first time with water was level out the alcoholness. So straight was a good fight of alcohol and sweetness, like going right at it almost even, even. Damn. And then with a little bit of water, it was all alcohol, very little sweetness. And at this point, with a lot more water, I think it's little alcohol and little sweetness. So it kind of really brought everything down. I'll tell you, and granted, we don't know what this is at now with the water that we put in versus the whiskey in the glass. It's a, uh, let me get my analyzer. Beep, 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 uh, beep, 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 beep. 42.13%. <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all. <laughs> Maybe 52, but mm -hmm. I doubt it. Um, neat. Neat pour on this one for yeah. sure. Uh, if you can take the alcohol. Like, mm -hmm. if you drink beer or wine as your regular alcohol, this one's going to be a punch in the face. You're going to need to work up to it. Um, but definitely neat. Definitely for where we're at in our journey, this is definitely something I would drink neat. Uh, and this this isn't a quick pour. This is like a couple you know chapters in your favorite book. This is a couple levels in the video game. This is a movie sipping glass, right? And you can spend an hour with an ounce. I know I'm stealing everybody's analogy, but that's okay because that's what this glass is. Um, how much do you say you paid for this i paid about i think it was 70 70 oh, okay 80, 70 or 80 i uh, see i was i was expecting you to say triple digits and i was oh. like if this is over 100 this is not gonna sit well with me but since you said 70 70 or 80 58 percent so this this goes right in line with an elijah craig barrel proof then in my opinion especially at the price point um and the stag well stag is good because stag is a punch in the face 
But I feel like C919 is still our our standard when it comes to, yep. you know, barrel proof. Is this the same or better or worse than C919? I think that well, this is good and I like the flavors from it, that Reese's peanut butter cup that you pointed out in C919 is going to forever haunt me. <laughs> so I feel like this is... It's the New Year's. Screw it. We're doing halves. It's a three and a half. Um, I think this one, it, it could be a four if the water didn't hurt it as much. Gotcha. Um, I think that the the price for the alcohol percentage alone is a huge value, in, in my opinion. Like you said, it's 70 bucks. It's like basically almost a dollar in ABV, a dollar and some change, right? That's pretty solid. Um, I think neat, if you're already a cash drink drinker, this is something you could enjoy for sure. If you don't like bourbon, maybe this one isn't for you because you're it's, it's going to be bourbon flavors. Like that's what it is. You're going to get brown sugars, you're going to get cherry, stuff like that, right? Um, but I think three and a half is a really solid go for this bottle. Only because, like I said, what the water did to it, I wasn't really a personally a fan of. Um, and C919, it held the water and ran with it. Um, so th if that's the standard that I judge my barrel proofs by, this one didn't quite crack the fence, but it's definitely like a, um, what is it? Um, two base hit, or what do they call that? I don't know, in baseball, sports analogy, I don't know. <laughs> when, you, when the guy gets two bases. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sports funny. ball, my favorite team scored a goal <laughs> unit basket. Yeah, I don't watch too much baseball. Uh, but I agree, it is pretty good. For me, I'm going to give it a four. And, okay. And be, uh, why I'm going to give it a four is because I think it has good complexity. Like, for example, uh, just re refresh everything. So, a regular milky chocolate, milky chocolate is good, right? It's good, it's sweet, right? And maybe after a couple years of, of eating regular sweet milky chocolate, you want to get into something else, right? So then you start getting, you know, dark chocolate. And at first, the first time you have dark chocolate, maybe it isn't so good. It's a little too bitter. But after you've had a lot of milky chocolate and you ease your way into darker, darker chocolate, it starts getting good because your palate gets developed into it. It's richer. It, it, it's a better flavor profile in the long run. You get more out of it. So equi equivalence with this. C919 is amazing. I'm not discrediting that whatsoever. C919 is, is, is good. It's a good five. But this, uh, C919 is more like a milky chocolate. It's like, oh, here's good sweetness. This has a little more it. bitterness. And this is a little bit more bitter. Exactly. This is a little bit more dark chocolate. So it's not bad. It's just a little bit more complex, a little bit. I think it's a, a richer, deeper profile. So for that reason, I'm giving it a four because that, that sweetness is amazingly there for that price point and that um, percentage of alcohol. Like I said, price point to ABV alone is already a value for right. sure. It's just, it's, it's subjective, right? Objectively, this food looks delicious. Subjectively, I like or do not like the taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, exactly. Do us a favor, guys. Hit us up in the comments. Have you had old Ezra? Have you had the cash rank? Or have you had a different version? Is there a different version? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Um, but there do are. us a favor. <laughs> Let us know what your thoughts are. Do you think we're crazy? Chances are we know that's the truth. Uh, but also do us a favor. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love interacting with you guys there. Don't forget to click the little bell for notifications. That way you know whenever we drop a brand new video. Caesar, you got anything else you want to add? Now what about you, brother? Happy New Year, folks. Stay safe and drink well. All aboard. <laughs> Catch you next time. Hey, everybody. Hope you liked that video. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>